I want to just encourage um, the people that look like me that are skeptical based on, on history of taking vaccines that I was not singled out to take the vaccine because of the color of my skin. Um, I wanted to take the vaccine. I wanted you, I wanted you to see me taking the vaccine. Somebody, um, I hope that I can inspire you um, to take the vaccine. The vaccine is being offered to a diverse group of people. And so I encourage you to take the vaccine. Listen to the science. That was New York City nurse Sandra Lindsay, the first person in the U.S. outside of trials to get the COVID-19, encouraging all Americans to get it too, but also speaking to black Americans. According to the CDC, black Americans are 3.7 times more likely to be hospitalized and 2.8 times more likely to die from COVID-19 than non-Hispanic white Americans are. But 35% of black Americans still say they would not get the vaccine, even if it was proved safe demonstrating the community's distrust in health care systems because of historic deception by health care providers. Now Morehouse School of Medicine and Common Spirit Healthcare are partnering to address the underlying causes of health disparities and train more black physicians. Morehouse Medical School Dean Dr. Valerie Montgomery Rice and Common Spirit CEO Lloyd Dean uh, join us now for more on this new program. Good afternoon to you both. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having Good us. Good afternoon. Uh, Lloyd, I want to start with you. How did this program come about? What inspired you to do this? One of the challenges that this nation has been dealing with for decades has been health disparities and health uh, inequities, uh, particularly in communities of uh, color. And one of the things that the virus has shown a light on is that African-Americans and blacks have been disproportionately impacted through deaths and testing positive uh, for the virus. And as we look at the heart of this challenge, one of the key factors is a lack of black physicians and clinicians. So we are very proud to be in partnership and to share this partnership with the Morehouse School of Medicine one of these, this nation's most premier uh, providers uh, and educators of black physicians uh, and black clinicians. And Dr. Montgomery Rice, you've promised to annually support 300 additional underrepresented providers in completing their residency and support a pipeline of students that will be recruited from communities that have a historical provider shortage. Why is it so important to deal with these issues at the provider level first? Well, first of all, one of the things that we know is that it requires a trusted relationship. And the most trusted relationship that I am aware of, particularly when it comes to a patient making a decision about his or her care, is that with her, his or her provider. And as Lloyd talked about, we know that there's underrepresentation of black and other minority physicians in communities, particularly communities that are underserved. So we believe that if we can educate and train more providers, more clinicians who actually come from those communities, we will see us move from uh, vaccine hesitancy to vaccine acceptance, particularly if we ever have another pandemic. And it's really timely that this is happening now. This, this relationship is going to allow for us to double the class size of Morehouse School of Medicine. The students will spend their first two years with us, and we will hopefully have recruited those students from regions where Common Spirit Health is located. And so you will see those students going back in their third and fourth year and actually have and their clinical experiences in those hospitals. We're also establishing 10 new sites for residency training. And then we hopefully will have those students go and do their residency training in those facilities, thereby creating a pipeline of persons who come from communities, going back to those communities and caring for those communities. It sounds like a program that will then help to maintain itself going forward. And, and Lloyd, I know that this program in itself, it looks very long term, but you're also trying to combat some of these health disparities as they relate to COVID right now. Can you tell me a little bit about those efforts? 
Yes, we are delving uh, to go deep into chronic conditions. And we know that uh, in communities of color, we know that in uh, black uh, communities, uh, that one of the things that is preventing for us, uh, for preventing us from moving forward um, to address uh, the underlying causes is physician and clinician access. And there is no questions and studies uh, have shown uh, that when uh, patients and members of the community have access to clinicians and physicians that look like them, that understand them, that have cultural sensitivities and awareness uh, that they tend to engage uh, in uh, their treatment process uh, in a way that when they don't have access uh, to people of color uh, like themselves, uh, that uh, this lingering challenge uh, continues uh, onward and onward. Dr. Valerie Montgomery Rice and Lloyd Dean, thank you both so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.